fashion in downtown Moscow. Yelena Otrepuva and a staff of 150 can service all your costume needs. Back in the States, a visit to Enid, Oklahoma is a must if you want to be up to date on the latest fashions. In the spare bedroom of her home, Lauren Sheehan single-handedly creates costumes worn by many of America's top skaters. You're packaging a product, to put it quite bluntly. You want the dress to be well fitted, uh, it needs to fit the music, but it also needs to fit the personality of the skater. The designer's work should satisfy two requirements. The costume has to create a certain image and at the same time meet the demands of figure skating. In the early days, the main requirement for a skating outfit was warmth, not glamour. Events were held outdoors and long underwear was often worn under coats and jackets. Sonia Henny changed everything. Skirts went up and restrictions went down. Sonia won three gold medals for Norway from 1928 to 1936 and her costumes revolutionized the sport. Peggy Fleming had a similar impact three decades later. Her dresses were made from new stretch fabrics and their sleek, elegant look continues to influence today's designers. The dress becomes a frame. You wouldn't want to only notice the dress, you really want to notice the girl. You're trying to enhance her look. I always like designs that are never pretentious. They always strictly correspond to the image of the athlete. Yelena gets her inspiration from Russia's rich cultural heritage. Lauren keeps track of what's happening on the fashion runways in New York and Paris. Glitter is her specialty. I often say, you may fall down, but you're going to look real good going down. <laughs> With clients like Olympic bronze medalist Debbie Thomas, current world champion Christy Yamaguchi, and former world champion Jill Trenery, Sheehan's designs are in great demand. A Sheehan original can involve hundreds of hours of tedious work. Generally, when I make the costumes, the first thing in mind is having the impact from a distance, but I really like it when people get up close to see what they've seen on the ice, they notice the intricate details, the tiny stones that are sewn in the applique, because that gives it a really rich quality. It still has impact from a distance, but when you get up close, you say, ooh, that's really pretty. Base price of a dress is $850, and can be hundreds more depending on the number of rhinestones and beads. Prices are more reasonable at Moscow's House of Sport Fashion, where most Russian skating costumes are made. Yelena is a salaried employee and works on 200 different outfits a year. The costume tradition is very strong with us, and we are attracted to bright colors and flashy embroidery. But some of our costumes are just too tacky. And there's no question that an unattractive outfit can make a poor impression with the judges. If you have skaters who are of equal talent um, and one looks well put together and the other one doesn't, I think subconsciously in the judge's mind that could make a, a tenth of a point difference. Over the years, tastes and styles have changed on the ice, just as they have in the fashion capitals of Paris or New York, Moscow or Enid, Oklahoma. But one thing holds true for skating costumes then and now. When these kids reach world-level competition, most of the time they're doing about the same tricks. They all have a little bit different way of expressing it. And the costume is another way of bringing that personality into the light. And there's a lot of value in that for me. So Good morning, Harry. The dream of love has been performed now for this.